Will Foley and Joe Grabanowski here in the uh, closing hours, ready to turn the lights off here at Volusia County on night two of the uh, Super Dirt Car uh, Modified Action. And Larry White came home the winner tonight. Uh, Stuart Friesen, second. Uh, Matt Williamson, third. Brett Hearn, fourth. And Billy Dunn rounded out the top five. Joe, what would you think? Man, I, I was watching Friesen the whole race because it looked like at some point he was going to get that thing hooked up on the, on the top side and, and close in on, on Larry. Uh, and he did a couple times in lap traffic, uh, but just couldn't get there. Larry was really strong tonight. Larry was strong, and Stu, Stu talked to me afterwards briefly and said that he just felt the track went away. Uh, and then it started to take rubber with about five or six laps to go, and he just could keep up with Larry, but he just had no way of uh, passing him. Yeah. And sometimes if the track goes away for somebody, it's coming in for someone else. Um, so you, you start to look at the back of the pack and see who's moving up. Um, and, and Williamson, you know, came from eighth and got up to the podium. So, you know, he's got a nice lead now in the in the uh, Gator Championship points uh, with, the, with the win last night and uh, another podium tonight. I'll tell you, the, uh, the racing was exceptional. I mean, you, you watch a lot of guys come from the back of the pack. The surprise of the night, and I didn't see what happened, was Matt Shepard uh, pitted early and then ended up going to the chart in the rear field. I think he came back for maybe, maybe somewhere between 15th and 19th. Yeah, he, he actually, yeah, about 19th, I believe. He came in and looked like they were looking at the front end of the car. Uh, I didn't see what they were doing. Um, you know, they might be uh, maybe playing possum right now, um, maybe trying some new things, and they're not working yet. Um, I think we're going to see uh, him vic in victory lane before the end of the week. Well, we know we lost at least one car tonight, as uh, the Tyler Thompson car uh, had to borrow the motor from uh, Larry White, and looks like that. Uh, expired or had mechanical problems or something happened whipping a plume of smoke so uh, Jason Simmons contacted me and said we're done for the weekend not sure of the status of Matt Stengel Matt Stengel took a hard ride over there in turn number two and rode the wall did you see any of that yes he uh, he went up uh, you know he almost went up and over uh, he knocked the wheels off the car and they were they had a provisional because of their finish last night uh, so they were scrambling to make the field uh, unfortunately they just couldn't make it in time and um, but Dave Rauscher got in, and that's always okay, too. The, the big show got in the big right. show. There's nothing wrong with that at all. <laughs> Any other things I want to talk about in this one tonight? Uh, you know, it just sort of uh, was cut and dried. I mean, you know, some of the guys didn't move as much as we thought they might. And whereas the bigger move, big mover of the night, as you said, was Matt Williamson. Uh, so any other thoughts? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm on rookie watch, so I'm watching Jesse Mueller to see how he develops, and he finished 15th tonight, and that's four better than last night, and he's right in the thick of it. I mean, he finished ahead of Matt Shepard and Jimmy Phelps and a load of other really great drivers, so uh, it's going to be very interesting to watch how he develops throughout the year. Nice to say that we have three more nights of modified racing here in Florida, and Joe and I will be here after every event to bring you the uh, highlights and maybe some lowlights and here on uh, Dirt Track Digest. So again, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you again tomorrow night.